Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the wonderful outdoors. And yes, you guessed it, I'm fishing. And I don't even know what I'm fishing yet for. For yet? I don't know what I'm fishing for yet. Could be perch, could be pike, could be ciscos, could be walleye. I'm fishing for anything that bites today. I'm gonna start here kind of like on a, a 10 foot little flat area. I've got a, I got about like a really, really slow slope here from like nine to 11 feet. And then it drops off pretty quick. And then same thing, it drop or it raises, rises into the shallows there quite, quite quick. So I'm hoping to start on this flat first for some perch. I'm gonna run the underwater camera. I'm gonna run the mega live. It's gonna be overkill. And I'll probably try this for at least half of the day. And if I fail, I will move to a sharper drop off and maybe fish for some ciscos. Did I mention ciscos at all? I like to catch some ciscos today too, possibly some big ones. Big ones, not miniature ciscos, big ciscos. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna catch. I'm just gonna take you along for the ride today. Got the sled with me here. I've got a beautiful day. Got no shelter. I should be able to fish outside all day today and I'm pretty excited. So let's pop some holes and uh, see what we can find. Don't even have to clear the hole. Pretty nice. I'll tell you one thing. When you fish and film, your objective changes completely. I only want to catch like a couple fish today. Well, as I was coming out and just like hardcore running gunning, I want to catch a pile of fish. But when I'm trying to capture it all on video, I'm trying to just catch a couple fish in a day couple you know 17 inch perch a couple 49 inch pike you know just something something realistic oh right there okay let's go let's go that way like 40 feet perfect okay i'm probably going to use this hole for pike tip up but this is only in five feet water is definitely a lot lower from when we uh mapped here in the summertime I had perch on the camera when I first got here or when I first dropped the camera down. So let's see if it'll come back. I've got fish 15 feet out. There's my jig. There's a perch, there's perch below it. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, they're coming in here. So I just gotta find my jig on the camera now. Oh yeah, right there, top, top left, top left. Nice, okay, you gonna look at it, you gonna eat it? Can't tell size at all. Come on. I like to swing my camera just a little bit so I can see a little bit better maybe. Hope they're not picky today. Oh, here comes one. Oh, here comes two. Here comes this one. This one from the front's coming a little bit quicker. Oh, it got blocked by that back one. Zoom in here on this screen. Oh, one comes from the back too. These are nice perch, I think, too. Okay, let's see if I can just drop it down to the bottom and see what happens. Nothing, no interest at all. In fact, he took off the other way. Oh, here comes one though. Here comes one. Comes one from the back too. Oh, that front one's nicer, I think. Yeah, come on. Oh, just, he's, he doesn't have the hook. Suck it in. He doesn't have the hook, he just has a mealworm. Suck it in, come on. He only has a mealworm right now. No. Oh, it tried. Look at that. They're eating the mealworms off of it. Take the whole hook. You dirty rat. Oh, no. See? Mealworm. I'm going to try to center that camera here in a little bit. Crazy. Well, you guys got a taste for it. Come take the whole thing. Suck it in. We'll have to go really small, maybe. Really small. He only has the mealworm. He only has the mealworm. You dirty rats. Oh. See how smart they are in terms of they can just eat the back of the mealworm? Here comes one. This one doesn't look as big as the other ones, though. Come on. Oh. <laughs> At least I'm not falling for it. I'm not setting the hook on them, which is good, right? You can learn so much by watching them. Comes back. Just had the mealworm again. I could tell too, did he, uh, did they get it off completely? Nope. 
No. Oh, that one. Thought I had that one. But it got my mealworm off. Got my mealworms off. Okay, let's try threading it on a little bit different. Well, perch was, what, the, honestly, was what I wanted to come here for more than anything. So hopefully, hopefully we can connect. I know lots of people request perch for videos. So here we are, chasing some perch. Hopefully I can draw them back in. I think what I'll do is eventually I'll go to two holes and try like a rattle bait to like draw them in and then uh, the camera or this one to uh, try to steal the deal. Who knows, maybe I can get them to go in the rattle bait though, right? Like that might be the ticket. Maybe maybe a little mealworm isn't the, isn't the answer. Maybe something a little bit smaller, uh, more aggressive, like a hyperham or something like that. It's harder to see on the camera when they're not in the shack. Oh, here comes one. Here comes one. Here we go. Okay. I think these are nice size too. I do. Oh, there's another one here too. Oh, my line's stuck. Oh, he likes this. He likes this. This one's going to eat. This one's going to eat. Come on. Oh, here comes one with fast. That's one smaller than the other one though. Got him though. That one actually ate the jig. Okay. Well, this is a good sign. Okay. This one, they're smaller. Maybe they're all smaller than I thought. That's number one. He's definitely tiny, but the little mealworm, maybe having my mealworm a little bit threaded onto the hook more was the answer. I'm only in, what am I in here? I'm in like eight feet of water only. Oh, oh, that one likes that. Look at that. Right into it. Come on. It likes it on the bottom. I should have kept it down there, maybe. He really liked that. Okay, where is it? You can eat it. This back one, maybe. Oh, we tried. This back one's a little bit bigger than the front one. Just got the mealworm. Come on. Got him. He just hardly got the hook in his mouth. Hardly. Fish two. Okay, they're not that big. They're not that big. They're small, they're small. They're like, I don't know, probably about seven, eight inches. Small perch, about a seven, eight incher. Seven striper. Nice thing is when they're this shallow, letting them go is, is really easy. Okay, let's try a different mealworm here. I've got perch everywhere, I like this. Here we go, come on, here we go, come on, come on. Come on. I don't want to pull it out of the screen. Okay, I'll drop it. Go eat it out of the bottom. I think that one's smaller. Oh, here comes another one on the bottom too. That one's aggressive, or more aggressive, I should say. Ooh, he took a little swipe at it and then took off. Another one coming in here. I like how they raise their fins. They're so cool. Oh, see so how the whole thing? I think he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Ooh, slipped on the... Yeah, tiny, 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 tiny. Wow, okay. Well, I sure showed you guys how to catch the small perch. That's for sure. Okay. Oh, watch it drop down. Watch it drop. Another one's turning. The front one's turning. Getting a little bit more aggressive. This is good. Come on. Come on. Oh, here comes another one too. A little bit of competition. Oh, this one's a little bit better. Oh, how did I miss that one? That was the one I wanted probably too. I'm sure. Oh, get another crack at him. This one's a little bit better, I think. This is the biggest of the day. I'm not saying much, but it's definitely the biggest of the day. Nice. Okay. Underwater cameras always hard to judge their size until you start to catch a couple. Now I'm starting to figure out that like they look bigger, but they weren't. It's only about a probably about an eight inch or something like that. Uh, I guess he's nine and a half. Nine and a half. But that's like what four perch and <laughs> no time and like i said perch was was what i wanted to chase they're deaf oh there was a jig here comes a perch come on oh hardly oh oh look at the whole school here all of a sudden oh that this one has to be better right these ones are bit bigger for sure these ones are bigger these ones look way bigger than the other ones definitely these three do, not this back one, these three. I don't want that one. Darn it. 
Ooh, this is a bigger one on the Mega Live. Oh, that's a pike. Yeah, no wonder. Look at this. That's a pretty nice pike. I think it's time to get a tip up out. Okay. It's definitely time to get a tip up out if that's going to happen. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's going away now. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, maybe a pike perch. I definitely need to get a tip up going, I'm thinking. I'm going to take the Mega Live out for a bit since I'm not really using it. Grab another rod and try to fish actively. I should be able to fish in two screens that way then. I don't know how long I should give this before I should move around again. That pike, like I said, totally scared everything away. I do have two baits down here right now. I have a, it's called an Acme Stubzy. I hope I'm not butchering that. I think it's a Stub Stubzy. If it's wrong, I'll have the proper name on the screen, but I think that's what it's called. It's just a tiny little like rattle bait, basically, really little. I'm hoping to maybe have these two going right now with the mealworm and the jig and then that little tiny rattle bait and hopefully it'll help if something else comes along here but i don't know how much longer i'm going to give this before I maybe move along down the flat a little bit i was on a really nice school of perch for sure they weren't big ones i did saw i did see three good ones come by but i wonder if i have to turn this more into a mobile mission or not i'm not sure yet well i think i gotta try to Stay mobile and stay on these fish. I think that's the ticket. I found them quick with the Mega Live and then uh, nothing. So the only thing about moving around like this and not having to be able to use the underwater camera as much is I'm not gonna be able to see when they're eating the bait or when they just got the mealworm in there. But if I'm fishing, I guess maybe some uh, more aggressive baits like this Stub Z or Hyperham or stuff like that, maybe I don't have to worry as much about that. But it was a really nice first thing to watch them and be like, no, the hook's not in their mouth yet. Like, don't set the hook because you're just going to pull your mealworm off type of thing. Oh, 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 here's fish. It's on the other side, though. Let's see if I can draw them over here. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Okay, well, maybe I'm not moving. And that fish came flying in. This is that stub Z I was talking about. Come on. Ah, he just hardly had it. There's other ones here, though, too. There's other ones. Okay, maybe I'm not moving. Maybe I'm just better off just to kind of wait around. <laughs> oh, come on. I got it. I want to catch one of these ones to see the size. Come on, here it comes. Come on. Oh, loaded all of a sudden. Like just loaded with fish all of a sudden. Got him. Okay, here we go. Okay, I guess I'm not moving. Maybe I'm going to just stay in one spot. A little bit better, but still nothing... Uh, not what we're after at all, like another nine and a half inch or type of thing. Is this, did he come over here too then? I think they came over to this one right away then. Yeah, look at this. Now the school came over to the, right here, the tungsten. Got him. Oh, did he get my mealworm? He did too. Let's get this bait back down there quick. Oh, brutal. Okay, we're going to drop back down here on this side. Bang down. Those fish were aggressive aggressive come back got my mealworm on the other side so i got a rebate there but this is better this is better oh that's a walleye there Here comes a walleye now maybe a little walleye a little wally oh no come on eat it all no eat it all there we go nice i do like having the underwater camera to be able to see that's a little better a little bit thicker anyway still not the not the length we're after here i do like the fact that i'm fishing them shallow and they'll release just perfect another another nine incher i do like how aggressive that last pot of fish was so if i do decide to go to more of a mobile approach here i can use artificial baits and feel like i can do quite well so that was that's a really good sign so i haven't used this camera a lot but this is the aquaview quad cam obviously quad shoots in four different directions so that's a huge advantage i'd say the one downside to it is i can't use my nice downward angle that i like to use on the aquaviews a lot of times but being able to see in every direction is definitely really cool you can zoom in on all of the screens down there and you know go from screen to screen depending where the fish are and then i think where this really is going to be like a such a, a super awesome camera is in 
ice houses where you can drop it down and see in every direction and have it like on a, a 40 inch screen or something in there, right? That's where this camera is gonna really, really shine in my opinion. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna get really well organized here and set up for a run and gun mission. That's, uh, I think that's the way to probably track down and stay on top of the schools of perch. I thought it was a pike at first that scared him away, but I haven't had anything here for a little bit. So let's do that. 20 feet, 20 feet that way, 20 feet this way, 10, it's 20 right there. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, drilled, looked on the Mega Live, 20 feet out this way, drilled, moved over, dropped, fish instantly. Come on. Now can I catch him? I did. This is awesome. This is awesome. He's small. He's small. Eventually maybe I'll come across a be better one, hopefully. But we're just going to go through the numbers right now anyway. Little guy. Battery? No, we're good. Nope. Got him. This is nice, this is nice. Not the fish, this is nice that I'm catching fish. Not the size of the fish. Oh, little guy, we'll get him back down quick. Oh, jeez, oh, that fish came out of nowhere and hammered me. <laughs> okay, well, there's some walleye here too in five feet of water, but they're small. I didn't even mark that fish, it just came in and crushed me. Tiny, aggressive, little walleye. This would be an excellent lake for Jay to fish. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to the Mega Live real quick, do a scan, see if we can see any more fish. And then if we can, we'll move around there. I haven't made any big moves yet. I've still been making just kind of miniature moves from where I first started, but kind of bouncing around here a little bit. Turn it, going back to the Mega Live, turning it. Oh yeah, fish out 20 feet that way. 30 feet this way, 10 feet that way. And so far it's working pretty good. 40 feet that way. This fish swimming, look like pike possibly, but we're gonna go for it anyway. Got him. Nice. Nice. There's still another one down there too. Probably perch for sure, I'd say. Yeah, little guy. Okay, well, little perch. Oh, yeah, another one. Another one. Nice. Okay. Seem to find a little bit of a school here of them. Oh, biggest one of the day anyway. Definitely biggest one of the day. I'll cut up my flash right here like a donkey. Okay, nice. Biggest one of the day. There we go, another little perch. Uh, not too bad, about 10 inches. Yeah, I don't know, I, I do too. I started a little bit further over and just been kinda, kinda moving around. Finally got on a little bit school of perch. Here it looks like, that's three. Three quick ones, bang, bang, bang. Uh, no, I was gonna get a perch fish today. No, nice. A little bit better size out here than I was catching shallow, that's for sure, but we're on them right now. Cracking them, that camera's about to die, but get the battery changed right away. Oh, here we go, shooting right up. Move to another, another spot. And come on, oh, come on. Don't just pretend. Don't just pretend, come on. Got them, got them. Being mobile is definitely the ticket. Oh, little walleye. 7.2 feet of water. I know it's small, but a lot of people think midwinter you have to be fishing deep, but these fish will still come up into the shallows and they'll eat. And there's a lot of insect life in the shallows. So don't overlook the shallows at all. Being mobile though, it's definitely, definitely the key. If you got a nice day like this where you can actually fish outside and nothing freezes and it's good on your body and your hands don't get cold. It's a good time to take advantage of the nice weather for sure. Got him. This rod is nice to feel those, feel those small little bites. Yeah, buddy. Perch. They're not uh, bad size. Like they're getting a little bit bigger, but still only like nine and a half, ten inches type of thing. I'll go through gear and all that stuff here in a little bit. What I'm using for jigs, rods. All that fun stuff. Oh, here he comes. Charging. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. This is a perch. This might be better. 
This is the perch. Oh, no, walleye. Perch, walleye, perch, walleye. Like I said earlier, this would be a really good lake for Jay right now, you know, a nice size fish for him. Something he could handle and reel in without too much stress, you know, stress on himself. Okay, there's fish. There's fish moving 20 feet that way right there. Okay, new hole again, here we go. And uh, fish on the bottom. Let's see if we can get it to bite the artificial first. Yep, nice. Feels a little bit better, feels a little bit better. If it's a perch, it's a good one. If it's a perch, it's probably a good one. Ah, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. I'm just too excited, I'm just too excited. Well, artificial's been working as well. I do plan on going to my sled here at some point and doing uh, a small little like gear review of what I'm using right now for, for baits. Still been using just the two baits that I started with here, the Stub Z and an Acme. Uh, tungsten Google Eye Jig. Oh, there we go, 20, 20 feet that way. Here we go. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Nice. We're gonna have perch or walleye. Perch or walleye, perch. Wrapped around my transducer again. Come on, keep spinning, keep spinning. There we go, maybe biggest of the day. Maybe biggest of the day. Not anything crazy yet, probably about 10 inches. I will say this, it is much more exciting to watch them on the underwater camera than it is to fish for them like this. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna try to catch one more right here and go to the sled and do a little lure demonstration, what I'm using for baits right now. Oh yeah, dropping right back down and there's fish here. They're definitely schooling. Got them, ooh, 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 maybe. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe not. Cracking them though, definitely cracking them. Well, it's three o'clock, it's so crazy how fast this day is going so far. Do a little bit of a, a tackle talk here right now for what I'm using. The key so far for me has been though, moving around lots. I'm catching like one, two fish in a hole, then nothing, right, for like 10 minutes. So if I just keep moving, I've been using the Mega Live here. I got it in my sleigh. And all I've been doing is just like kind of like looking around, right? So I'll take the handle, I'll spin it. Also, I'm like, oh, I'm like 20 feet out, out that way or whichever way, fish, right? So go drill a hole, take my flash over there and keep going. It'd be nice if I could take the Mega Live everywhere and fish for it, but obviously it's a lot harder with uh, what I have set up. A little sleigh or something like that would be handy, but it's going to keep kind of plucking along here. So far for baits, I've been having success on the two. I have pretty much only tried the two. I did try the Hyper Hammer for a little bit, but this, like I said earlier, is an Acme Google Eye uh, Tungsten Jig, size five. And then this little guy right here is an Acme uh, Stub Z, uh, one and a quarter inch. And then this is a quarter ounce Acme Hyper Hammer that I haven't played with much yet. This, these have been the good ones. This little Stub Z and this little uh, Tungsten Acme Google Eye Jig with uh, a couple mealworms on it. You can find all of those if you're in the States right from the Acme website. Of course, there's a bunch of other stores I'm sure you can get them at Shields, Cabela's, all that. If you're in Canada, I'll leave links below right to Pokey's Tackle 
for both of those items where you can get them right off of their website. Pokies Tackle has a website in Canada. They will ship to the States. Maybe they won't be announcing that, but just call them up and they will ship to the States. So anyways, gonna keep moving along here. Like I said, spin the mega live. Anywhere between five to 11 feet has been my, my depth so far. I found that shallower, they're a little bit more aggressive than they are when they've been 10, 11 feet. So I'll probably try to work my way in here a little bit shallower again. I'm just on a big like mud flat. When I had the camera earlier, you could see a bunch of, uh, I don't know if they're oysters or clam shells or whatever down there in the mud and the sand, you could see them kind of sticking out a little bit. So just a big clam bed in here and uh, bringing in some life. You don't always have to fish deep midwinter, but I will say right now, moving around is definitely definitely the key for the day so far 30 35 feet that way a little bit better school i should go i think i should drill there looks like they're moving this way so i'm gonna cut them off a bit Let's see that's about oh 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 cheat clean <laughs> almost i uh, lost my rod not gonna lie there's no way this is a perch right if it is it's a big perch Okay, yeah, there we go, jumbo perch. And all it took was for me to go uh, <laughs> go try to uh, lose my rod down the hole. That is a tank of a perch. I saw some fish 35 feet out that way. So I won't even have this on the Mega Live eating my jig, but that's a big one right there. There we go, that's like a 13 incher probably. Get a quick measure, because I got my board right here. It's a jumbo, jumbo, 12 and three quarters. There we go. That's more what we're after. 12 and three quarters, big fish. See you, buddy. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> I, I didn't even catch it. My, I almost lost my rod down the hole. Donkey, Clayton, you're such a donkey. There's some fish not too far from where I just popped a hole here. Oh, main camera. What about your camera, Clayton? Ah, just drop down first, Clayton. Just drop down. It's just a camera. Let's look at your head camera. Oh, look at this fish race straight up at it. Oh, I guess you guys can't see that. I don't even have my main camera. I just got my head camera. That's it. Got him. Got him. I think I should get my camera after this one. This one feels better. This one feels a little bit better. Oh, yeah. Nice. Well, a couple nicer fish in a row, not as big as that last one. But I better grab my camera and drop back down there because there's still a couple more fish here. Well, I'm not going to lie, we probably caught 20 perch at least so far today. It's been good. It's been really good. Oh, battery. This needs a battery. Come on. A little bit of competition's good. Got them. Hammering them. Hammering them. Been all different sizes today all different sizes smalls mediums big one all different sizes today got them this little tungsten jig with this rod is pretty handy not gonna lie this is a 39 inch light from frostbite called the dipstick it's pretty noodle tippy come on come on it's pretty noodle tippy as in very, very soft, soft tip. It's a fiberglass rod. You can see that jig just kind of hovering with a little bit of weight on the end of the rod. And then you can tell either when they pick it up because it pulls down or if they upbite it, all of a sudden a little bit of pressure will come off the rod tip. So it's definitely uh, a pretty good rod for perch. Probably my favorite rod for perch. I should uh, grab that. Stub Z actually and drop it down here a little bit while there's so many fish here. Come on, put it in your mouth this time. Oh, that's I see he up it. He's on there right now, but I'm not sure if he's like got it. Yeah, okay. He that time he actually like up it. I could see the pressure of my rod just kind of release a bit, and then he turned around and went down with it. So, yeah, little guys, they're not putting the whole jig in their mouth. They're just grabbing the end of that mealworm a little bit. But we're getting her done. We're getting her done. I don't like to fish for the perch in deeper water unless I'm going to keep them because their their air bladder explodes quite easily. But fishing an eight feet for them here, you could catch them 
all day and have no problem releasing them. They'll be, they'll be just fine. This is insane right now. We are on them. We're on them. All day we've had to kind of move around and find like little pods of them and stuff like that. But right now we found a little hot hole here all of a sudden. What another 10 inch or something like that. On fire. On fire. Fire. Nice, nice. Leveling, leveling. So on this rod, I've got six pound braid and a six pound fluorocarbon leader. Fishing for these perch, you should probably go down to like a two or a four pound, but I don't fish, I don't really fish a lot of smaller presentation or fish for a lot of smaller fish. So I don't think I have even have any four pound or two pound kicking around the house right now. I might've had some four. I could have put some four pound leader material on, Le leader, leader, leader material. And it is suffix ice braid, like I said, six pound braid, and then an advanced fluorocarbon suffix leader. I've been trying the suffix here this past summer and winter, and it's been good. The ice line's been good. It's not icing up today at all. It is warmer, obviously. Not crazy warm, like the end of my fingers are getting cold right now. And I'm catching fish here like crazy. Funny how like one, two fish every hole in this hole, I've probably caught like, I don't know, 10 already. So could be that time of day too, right? Four o'clock perch, like to fire up here a little bit before prime time. I find once the, once the sun starts to set, the perch will slow down a little bit, but that middle to late afternoon can be so good for perch a lot of times, I find. I don't do a lot of perch fishing though, not gonna lie. Okay, let's try this. Let's try the let's try the stub Z again here for a little bit. Stub Z, and this is on the 36 inch light uh, Royal Flush. This one is a graphite rod. The dipstick is a fiberglass rod, and this is a graphite rod. Graphite's got a little bit more sensitivity in it, so you can get away with uh, not having a rod that's like a noodle tip because it makes up for the sense with the sensitivity. What do we got here? What do we got here? Hooked them on the bottom. Well, not big today. One, one big one. But lots of action though. Like lots of action. Got him. Got him. This little bait's nice, good for perch. It's a good perch bait. Good perch bait. Leveling. Look at that. It's not a, not a huge bait but uh, they're definitely trying to eat it. See, even small fish have seven stripes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe six. We'll just say seven, because seven's cooler apparently. This little guy's fun. A little inch and a quarter. Stub Z. Stub Z. First time ever using it, to be honest. And uh, works, definitely works. <laughs> this one's little. This one's little. Like little, little. What are you doing? What are you doing down there? You are tiny. Keep turning. See ya. Grow bigger and come back. Got him. Heard a raven fly over here. Raven. Just a medium. A medium guy. Oh, gotta go. See ya. Well, that will wrap up this little video. I had a fun day. Starting to get a little bit of weather move in. Starting to wind, winds are picking up a little bit here. And yeah, so after this video, you'll notice it was a premiere, but I had a little chat while it was going on. I am gonna do a members only chat at the end of this. For anybody who wants to ask questions about the video, I'll do another live chat for everybody here probably in the next couple days after this video as well. But what is the members only thing there? You'll notice at the bottom of the video, I don't think you'll find it on an iPhone, but on Android or on a computer or uh, tablet stuff like that there'll be a little join button there somewhere and you can basically help uh, support the channel in that way and then I do some live chats that are just for members only and then I'm working on trying to do some kind of little videos in terms of that for uh, for the members only that'll be just uh, behind the scenes stuff and that little stuff nothing's gonna change on the YouTube channel so don't feel like 
I am I'm ripping somebody off of the normal the, the viewership in that sense it's all still free in that sense but I do have a members only thing now that you can just help support the channel but like I said nothing will change on the YouTube channel you'll keep getting what you're getting now it just the members only will get just a little bit extra like I said some some live chats and stuff like that just for the members so it's easier to answer questions and all that I'm rambling all that nonsense but it was a fun day hopefully you'll be able to learn a few things I learned a few things today that perch are finicky and tough but once you get on them it can be really good did i think about i don't know 25 30 holes total something like that probably caught about 35 40 perch i think by the end of the day so it was good time to pack her up it's a fun day I'm not gonna lie and uh yeah as always don't forget get outside